Hey, what's going on YouTube? This is Rising Tech with you guys, and I'm gonna show you guys a quick and easy method to uh, bypass the FRP or the Google Lock on the Galaxy S8 Plus. Do this at your own risk. Um, this is not a, how do I say, uh, a textbook method of, of doing it. Um, and I will tell you why in a minute, but if you wanna do this and you have a Z3 Xbox, um, and I know that they don't have this method yet, but since I tried all the other methods on YouTube and to no avail and they didn't work for me, um, I tried the, uh, you know, flashing the combination firmware and then flashing the uh, stock firmware back. Um, that didn't work for me. And there's another method of using the Bluetooth to um, be able to open Google Assist and therefore giving you the option to install the calculator app, which then you uh, put a sequence of numbers and it opens up the dialer and you can put the phone into ADB mode. But anyways, those methods didn't work for me. So I kept digging and digging and trying to figure out, you know, how I can um, bypass this Galaxy S8 Plus, which is on AT&T. It's an AT&T version. So all I did was I flashed a combination firmware and download a combination firmware. I have a few. Um, which I downloaded, um, come on, open up. And holding the camera and messing with the, uh, all right, so what do we have here? Let's go back up. So yeah, as you can see guys, I have, I have two different combination firmwares here. I have for the, for the G955U, which is what, what I downloaded. Um, I downloaded them through the Z3 Xbox. There's, they're out there in the web. You just Google them. Um, so as you can see, G55U, and sorry for the shakiness, but I'm holding my phone here, no tripod. Maybe I should get one. Um, okay, so, you know, I use, you can use either or, you know, uh, you have Q, QF4, you have a uh, QG1. This is what worked for me, okay? I used QF4. I flashed this combination firmware using um, Odin. So you have to use you have to use Odin. Using Odin, you select ADB. Um, and this is the beautiful thing about this. You really don't well, other than having the Z3 Xbox, which you need. Um, using Odin, and then I I selected the uh, the combination firmware. Um, it's important when you do this not to uh, to uncheck at reset time. You can leave auto reboot on. Go back. You're gonna put your phone into download mode, pressing the volume down, uh, big speed, and the power button at the same time, and you will eventually get to download mode. Connect the phone, and then you will see uh, this right here turn into a blue bar. It'll say come. Com whatever port will you be used? Com three, com thirteen, com ten. Um, you'll see that up here. Uh, then you flash it. Once you come up, once you flash this combination firmware and the phone boots up, what you will then do is go through your Z3 Xbox firm uh, software, uh, Samsung Tool Pro. Anybody who has this box should know already. What I did was I selected, and if you see up here. I selected the Galaxy S7 Plus T-Mobile version, okay? Why I selected it? Because it's one of the only ones that have um, the reset FRP and the reset FRP React EE um, buttons. So I took a gamble here. I took a gamble, and this is where you're going to do this at your own risk, okay? Don't hold me responsible. It worked for me. Will it work for you? I don't know. Will it work on other versions of the S8 since they all have the same motherboard and basically the difference is the software in some respect? It should work. Well, I'm not guaranteeing that, okay? Do this at your own risk. And what I did was as um, I uh, I enabled within the the, the phone, and, what, and I'll show you here. This is the S8, and as you can see, it was it was it was um, Google locked. But um, if you went in, within the combination firmware, this is obviously the stock firmware. So star pound, 
zero eight pound and what you will do is you will select the bottom one you will select DM modem ADB okay you select DM modem ADB you press OK or if you could press reboot whichever one and then you connect the phone to the PC to the computer and what you do is you uh, select the com mine's uh, red com 15 yours could read something else and then hit reset FRP since it's not the correct model since I did not select the correct model it will tell you that there's a risk of damaging the device which I went on proceeded and accepted you know the terms and it'll run the sequence and it will reset the FRP what you have to do then is you go into the settings of the phone not hard reset but you will factory reset your phone from within the settings go into the settings factory reset the phone uh, press backup and reset factory reset the phone wait until the phone boots up when the phone completely boots up you will then put the phone back into download mode and then after you put the phone into download mode you will then proceed to flash the stock firmware back onto the phone I downloaded um, I downloaded this version here uh, uh, downloaded this version here come on come on come on come on come on, come on buddy um, I downloaded QC9 um, you could download any version you want though I mean basically um, you know nine, the G955U is the version or the phone version uh, QC9 was the uh, firmware version that I uh, that I installed anyways you then proceed to uh, to add that and you know add add each one corresponding APCP CCSC and then flash it flash the phone don't forget to go to options and disable F reset time um, and then make sure your phone is in download mode connect your phone again to the PC hit start and flash the stock the stock round back onto the phone so basically that's what I did it worked for me the phone booted up just fine and um, as you can see it's in my hand um, you know I don't want to go through the whole process again so what I'm doing is just basically going through a tutorial with you guys and you guys can follow everything I say word for word and hope it works good luck guys shoot me a like and um, if it works for you and uh, you know send me some you know I'll be I'll be paying attention to my to the messages or to the responses so get up in there try this out let me know if it works all right see you guys